Uh, let's just sort of uh, get the first rates out and then we'll uh, look at indices and then look at stocks uh, after that. Uh, just counting down now. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, it's just uh, uh, so much happening and uh, so much that the market will react to. But for sure, be, there are going to be lots of moves both uh, down to begin with, as you can see on your screen, and then maybe some recovery. 21,800 is where we are at on the Nifty. Uh, so 21,830 uh, uh, to be precise. The Sensex is down about 560, 530 points, uh, so that there's a cut, uh, three quarters of a percent is what that amounts to, uh, right at 915. Bank Nifty is down about 0.86 percent, we're at about 46,650. Uh, you've got the mid cap index down about one and a third of a percent, so there's a bit more there. And the small cap index, I think, is also should be down about one percent, uh, broadly in line with what the mid cap uh, index is doing. Market breadth, four is to one, in favor of declines to begin the day. Well, uh, you know, a few stocks that are reacting actually to that spike that we've seen in crude oil prices, the OMCs have taken it negatively. So HPCL, BPCL, IOC, all of them are the top losers in today's trading session. ONGC gains because of higher crude prices, but OMCs, they will feel the pressure. And price hikes are unlikely. So you have all these stocks that are lower, IOC, HPCL, as well as uh, BPCL. Uh, Interglobe Aviation, yes, uh, you know, uh, charges are moving up and cost of travel is moving up, but the input cost as well will spike up if crude oil prices are going to move up. So that stock as well is lower in trade. Otherwise, it's been a rank out performer today coming in for some profit picking. You have uh, Canada Bank that's down close to around 2.5%, so that's seeing some selling pressure. Havels is down close to around 2%. What's gaining then? On the winning side, you have a few stocks that are up. Oil India is up, giving ONGC company. You have Exide in a world of its own. It's up close to around a percent in a market that's looking quite brittle. The number of stocks advancing are just around 255 odd. But you have to say that the start isn't as bad as feared. 160, 180 point down tick. That's par for the course, I would say. And the Nifty Bank is now close to around the 100 DMA. That's the crucial one in there. You have HDFC Bank, which will be coming out with a set of numbers tomorrow. If the Nifty Bank can see a bit of a bounce from here, it'll give some kind of support to the Nifty. This is a net short market. So any kind of support, any kind of defense of lower levels will be good, actually, from a bullish perspective. So let's see how this goes. Three more. Well, so the top Nifty loser today is HDFC Life. They came out with numbers yesterday during market hours. But post those numbers, brokerages are lowering the target price. So HSBC has cut the target price from 800 to 750. Jefferies has also lowered it to 750 from 800. Bajaj Auto is the surprise uh, you know, stock which has opened in the red despite strong numbers. Uh, the stock is lower by close to about 2%. Uh, CLSA has a sell call on Bajaj Auto. The target price is much lower, below 7,000. But they believe the stock is overvalued after the recent run-up. Remember, the stock in the last six months is up 80%. So maybe some profit booking. Infi opens in the red. It's down close to about 2%. And now it's week-to-date losses. Uh, it's close to about 6 to 6.5%. Axis Bank continues to, Axis Bank is under pressure. Abhishek was talking about how they will be considering a fundraise along with their numbers. Nestle continues to um, see a correction. Yesterday, Nestle was down 3, 3.5%. Three it's seeing follow-on selling pressure. And in modern, in, at least in the early rate, it's down close to about 1% odd. So these are some stocks. And others where you are seeing some, you know, news-based action, GMR Airports, Gokuldas, where there's a QIP, ICSA Securities, post their numbers are also some stocks you should keep on your radar. Mm. Uh, you know, so it's of course as expected down and uh, down and out. Eight, eight uh, is to one. So our declines, outnumber advances, some eight is to one. Uh, so 1,800 stocks are lower, 250 stocks are higher. Uh, this is the broader market picture. Uh, so uh, top volume-led losers are uh, HDFC Life, as we highlighted, 4% cut there. BPCL with a 4% cut. Indigo is down 3%. Uh, Indigo at about 34.88. Canada Bank is down 3%. Canada has got a large cut as well. Uh, so I mentioned HP, BP is the other one. BP is down 4, BPCL, 4% lower. Tata Communication, Rima mentioned. Phoenix down 3%. That's Phoenix Limited. Metropolis is down 35 But, you know, nothing very much on the downside as far as volumes are concerned. Uh, so while the number of stocks which is down is a long list, it's not backed by volumes. Uh, it's not in any case beyond the first six seven names that I mentioned. Uh, volumes are lacking on the upside as well. Actually, it's a slower start with regards to volumes, and maybe because participants are on the sidelines, not wanting to do much uh, till this clears out. Uh, but uh, you know, DMART Avenue Supermarts with a three percent rise is the second biggest volume led gainer right now. Uh, ONGC, which we were discussing earlier, 
uh, one and a quarter percent. These are small moves. Oil India, one. This is, this is just sort of direct play on what's happening with oil. The jump that we've seen. Apollo Hospital sold off yesterday. Was one of the big movers on the downside. That's seeing a, a half a percent, one percent recovery. Cochin Shipyard, uh, you know, Transformers and Rectifies is, uh, is I think I saw five percent. Now it's up two and a half, six fifty on that one. Crystal, which is the facilities management company, which uh, listed recently, had a run-up early in the week. Yesterday, sold off 15%. Uh, Crystal is uh, up about 1% as well. So keep an eye on that one. It's got volumes, and that's why I'm mentioning this. But overall, both on the upside and downside, beyond the first 10, 12 names, volumes are lacking. Uh, so keep that in mind uh, at, uh, at uh, this stage.